November is here, so you know it's time for new events that are happening around Fort Wayne. And I'm so excited to speak with Kristen Guthrie, who is the Vice President of Marketing and Communications for Visit Fort Wayne. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning. Hey, how Good are morning. You? Great. Doing well. Good. Okay, so the season is changing quick on us. <laughs> I know. I know. Luckily, there are a lot of fun ways to celebrate it, you yes. know. Yes. Um, it's really fun. November is really kicking off with great events for the kiddos. Okay. Lots of fun, special events to take the little kids to. Mm -hmm. um, so first up, really for kids of all ages, okay. uh, Civic Theater is doing Shrek the Musical. Oh, fun. Yes. Okay. Their performances are amazing. Shrek will be so fun. Mm -hmm. Lots of dates in early November. So you really want to take advantage of that. Get it now. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Um, then at the embassy, both Peppa Pig is coming, which is a big deal. Yes. I hear. Um, <laughs> on November 9th, and then the Kids Bop Sing Along the next night on November 10th. Okay. So some really fun, I think, special things kids will enjoy. Yes. And then the Coliseum is hosting Jurassic Quest. Okay. So for those who love dinosaurs, kind of a walk through and enjoying uh -huh. dinosaurs, it's a really cool event too. And that'll be there later in November. Okay. So some really fun things for the kids. That is. Yeah. You know, we just finished getting them all nice and sugared up from Halloween. <laughs> yes. And now it's like, go see a performance. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I love that. Okay. So that'll be really fun. So what about for the adults? Yes, exactly. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the first uh, restaurant week on the landing. Oh. So at Visit Fort Wayne, we do Savor Fort Wayne every January, a big restaurant week. Right. This is a special one that the landing is doing. And if you haven't been there or haven't been there recently, mm -hmm. you know, there are so many many different restaurants and new ones popping up yes. um, at all price points at all you know food interests it's really mm -hmm. great so they're doing a special restaurant week um, November 5th through the 12th okay so special deals special events um, you want to check that out restaurant yes. week on the landing that's fun that's I so love creative, that because you're right there's so many good restaurants there a yes. couple more popping up and it's really still nice outside yes so to be able to walk around and see the leaves fall I think so too and <laughs> And yeah, that'll be a really nice time, yeah. I think, to explore downtown. Uh, but then as the leaves disappear, mm -hmm. um, it is time for all the holiday fest activities in Fort Wayne. Okay. And many do start in November. So mm -hmm. you want to mark your calendar. Okay. The big one, of course, is Wednesday night before Thanksgiving with the Night of Lights. Yes. And that's really, I think, a lot of you know people's favorite annual event when mm -hmm. they light all the displays downtown, kind of an informal parade through the city. It's just a wonderful evening. Uh, so we're looking forward to that on November. 22nd. Okay, so the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. Yeah. So I got to attend that for the first time last year. Yes. And it was so much fun. So many people came out. Oh, it's out. crazy. Like, wow, who knew? Like I so know. many people could gather in a spot and then the moment that Christmas uh, Santa was lit yes. up. It was like, wow, that was really magical. <laughs> it really is. It's very special. It's great because you have a lot of family in town for Thanksgiving mm -hmm. the next day. So what do we do? You know, bundle up, yeah. head downtown. Um, and you're right. It's it's just so fun. And they kind of go from the Santa to the wreath and, mm -hmm. you know, throughout um, downtown. It's a fun night. Yes. Really special. Oh, yeah. Because can you talk a little bit about that? So the night is not just about gathering at the one spot to see Santa. There's like a path and a trail and an adventure That's right. throughout downtown, right? That's right. It mm -hmm. does start with the Santa. He is kind of the anchor guy, yeah. of course. Um, but then it proceeds to uh, the tree, the wreath, um, down to the embassy, uh, Parkview Field, Grand Wayne, a lot of different events, a lot of different lightings. Yes. Um, you can learn more about that on our website, visit Fort Wayne, and kind of map out your route. Uh -huh. And you really can avoid the crowds if you wish. You can kind of do it in reverse or, you know, yeah. come later. <laughs> um, I think that's a nice way to, to balance it for people that yes. choose as well. It's just so fun. And then the Saturday following mm -hmm. is Shop Small Saturday. Downtown is going to have the trolleys running, lots of shops doing special deals mm -hmm. and special events. So again, you've been cooped up with the family <laughs> uh, for Thanksgiving on Saturday. Bring them downtown, shop around, and um, really discover some great retail downtown. Yes, so that's that'll awesome. Be really fun. And then being able to support the small businesses. Yes. And that's the time people start shopping. I mean, oh, that's it like is. <laughs> and so many the unique weekend. gifts. You know, you can find something special at these special mm -hmm. shops that really you can't find anywhere else. Right. So yeah. that'll be fun. That'll be awesome. fun. Yeah. And then that weekend really kicks off a lot of our big the Festival of Trees at the Embassy, oh, okay. the Festival of Gingerbread at the History Center. Mm -hmm. A lot of our great holiday fest events kick off that weekend as well. Okay. Um, and there's just you know. So much fun. Um, right. Fantasy of Lights at Frankie Park. Drive through and enjoy if you need more lights. Yes. Um, but lots of great 
really holiday celebrations start that weekend. Mm -hmm. so. And so the tree event, can you give me some more information about that or, or share with us? Because I know that it's just such a big deal. Yes. People bring in these beautiful decorated trees and you can just walk through and see different themes throughout the embassy, right? You're so right. So the embassy is filled with gorgeous trees and each is decorated, like you said, by different businesses or different themes. Yeah. Um, it's really fun to find a Candyland tree and then mm -hmm. maybe a Victorian tree, you know, like really different takes on it. Yeah. Um, um, I love that. There are fun, like, kind of contests throughout. They also mm -hmm. do kind of breakfast with Santa. And it's all set in the beautiful historic Embassy Theater. Yes. You know, so it's just like the perfect photo op, family mm -hmm. experience. It's such a lovely event. Um, and they really do so many fun things throughout the course of it. So I, you know, highly recommend that people check that out. Many free performances are taking place on mm -hmm. the stage. Okay. You know, so you can kind of do both. Mm -hmm. um, it's a really... A really great event. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, yeah. thank you so much, Kristen. Absolutely. For sharing the great events that are happening around Fort Wayne. So much <laughs> happening in November. <laughs> yes. And if you would like more information about any of the events that we spoke about, you can actually go to their website, visitfortwayne.com, to check it out. We'll be right back.